I changed some audio settings. I also recognize that the previous videos, I think they had a different frame rate than my videos normally do. I'm trying to make higher resolution videos, but um, I don't think I'm changing the correct settings. Anyway, I had to load a save game and not take this province because there was a coalition against me that fired and killed me. Also, I decided to switch to humanist ideas because the Reformation will be here soon, and I had not invested any points into that military thing. Am I recording? I am. So I decided to be better to take that. I'm behind in technology and stuff, but I'm currently waiting for my gross expansion to be reduced, so... I have time to relax. Anyway, I've got I have lots of money. I can afford to hire lots of advisors. So hopefully, this will be a time of prosperity. This, this is precisely why I never, never, never take royal marriages. Personal union of monarch death. Why? Between am I am I married to Brandenburg? I am. Why am I married to Brandenburg? Well, my monarch dies, I'll be in a succession war, I'll probably just break that. Anyway, this guy's only 29, so hopefully he won't die. And he has great stats, so I'm quite happy that he's the king. Ugh, I hate to do this. I don't need to increase that now, I can wait until that's done. I get some better, um, guys? Yeah, I could get this guy, he'd be 2.5 per month. Yeah, but I want to save my money, though. Build some temples and marketplaces and things. This seems like a bad idea. In the Austrian conquest of Nusenschwaben against Austria, France, and Hungary. Are, are they actually fighting Austria, France, and Hungary? <laughs> no way. You are on your own. No royal marriages. This war, I, I was called in by Denmark to fight this war against Pomerania. Whatever. Denmark, calm down. Oh, I see. This is defensive. Um, what I say down. I dislike verbs with prepositions. Sure, I guess. This time, I'm not busy in another war, so I'm sure I'll be fine. Not really. I'm not, I don't really care about this Pomerania thing. I'm just doing it because I can get loot. Because I can get loot. Enunciate. Ha 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 ha. What if Austria inherits France? No. That won't happen. Inheriting countries is so fantastically unlikely. Because the dynasty mechanics are just random that, um, I don't think it will happen. Do I have to choose Lithuania? I don't. What's my aggressive expansion? 59. So, no. Ooh. Hmm. That's really good. Yeah, I don't have any heretics. I got the special event that, the random event, that turns these guys into your religion. I think I'll do that, too. Just because, um, I like uh, a little bit of genocide. Never hurt anybody. I don't know if I can ever catch up, because I have this, um, Eastern Tech group. I don't know. I have a really good king. Got an heir, too. He's, he's okay. I will attack Lithuania, because they have no allies. Well, they have one ally, but it's Riga. And I don't think Riga will help them much. Maybe. I don't know, though. Anyway, I'm not sure how strong they are, but I can always just load my save game. I want just one province. So, it's not a big deal. We're losing a war. Not a very good ally, but whatever. Better than no one, I guess. I suppose I'll record this. 
That's definitely not their entire army. It is... I have cannons. Do they have cannons? No, but they have more troops. Grand independence to Sweden, we'll see land to Sweden, or whatever. On the right side, you don't have to fight them anymore. Yeah, I can't beat them. Oh well. Unfortunately, the AI deemed it necessary to attack me repeatedly, and I kept beating them back, and they kept coming back and attacking me. AI, I'm not fighting you! We're, I don't care about your stupid war! Why are you sending your troops in my land to die? Anyway, it also reduced my manpower. But Poland has no allies. I need to take advantage of that before it's too late, so I will attack them. Not call them Bohemia. Because I want all the land to myself. I want to make them my vassal. Hopefully these annoying people will stay up there for a while. I did catch up in technology because I just have really good stats on my general. My um, king. My king has very good stats. Ugh, English words. Also, they can't see my army down here. I should note. I wonder if they'll come attack my army, which they cannot see. Nope. Yes. Absolutely. Thanks. Not wasting my time. Also, this indicator with the cross swords, that means there's going to be a battle. Does not always mean there'll be a battle. Hmm. This will help me get my prestige um, achievement, or not achievement, um, mission, goal, thing, whatever. Free stability point. I want a free stability point. After I take this province, I'll probably have sufficient war score to vassalize. Nope. Okie dokie. Well, I will be back. It seems I would accrue excessive aggressive expansion from vassalizing them. Also, because I've taken land from them, it would take... I will need much time to repair our relations. So, I shall instead make them release these four provinces as a country, and I'll take these other three for much less aggressive expansion. And their money, of course. Oh, nope, not their money. And then... This country will be happy with me for releasing them, and I'll get an ally. Huzzah! And also I get some um, prestige and power projection from taking them over. So, just a, it's a big win-win-win for me. I have to wait for my war exhaustion to lower, though. It seems my win-win-win really was quite the opposite. I lost Bohemia, and Denmark will break the alliance soon, for some reason. Why? What's the problem? Dunno. I guess they don't like me anymore. Arbitrarily. I can't ally Muscovy ever at all. This trust thing will never increase. It seems. It makes sense that they'd be mad at me for cheating them and... In a, in a war, but they'd be mad at me for hundreds of years. And also, it it's... I can't tell what influences these numbers. I can't... I don't know what I can do to increase those numbers. So, it seems like the system is a bit too obscure to be useful. These guys would probably ally me if it weren't for this trust thing, which I can't influence. Oh, well. France is free. France ally with the Ottomans. I love it. Anyway, these guys are probably not be too mad at me. Nope, I could probably get them as an ally if I increase relations. Oh, hello, Poland. Welcome back. Bohemia lost a war, and they were forced to free Poland. I'm fabricating a claim on them, I think. No, I'm not. Anyway, Poland, uh, I'm not done with you. I guess I still have a truce with them, then. Or do I? 
I don't. Oh, that's fun. So I suppose I can conquer them. Supposing they get no allies. And then that's all the land I need to form Poland. What do I get if I form Poland? I get to be a kingdom. That's pretty nice for free. And that's it, really. Being a kingdom... What does that do? Stronger bonuses. What does that mean? These things? Reformation. Happened in where? It's clear. That's a funny place for it to begin, but okay. I will not convert just yet. I'll wait for the people around me to convert. Because I don't want to lose my precious allies. Oh, wait. I don't have any precious allies. They're orthodox, so they don't care. So, uh, yeah, let's do it. Let's be a Protestant. Yay, stuff. Missionary strength's pretty good. National tax is pretty good. Um, I don't need the missionary strength, though, because we have the bonus from converting religious zeal. Last ten years, that's enough time. Do I get a holy war cause of spelling? Uh, no. Might be a little bit OP. It's time for another epic war with po What? I have a claim. Oh, okay, that was weird. Another epic war with Poland! <laughs> wonder how successful the Reformation will be. Hopefully very successful, or else I'll be alone. All these guys will be even more mad at me. Oh well. I'm sure I'll be fine. I will form Poland, just to see what happens. However, I think I will um, stay as Mazovia, just because it, it, it is my Mazovia playthrough. Anyway, I guess I'll get the traditions, ambitions thing. What do we get? Dark sufficiency, uh, that's good, that's meh. That's pretty good. 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 Wow, those are all really good. Except for that. That one's only just kind of good. Hmm. Do I get any free claims or something? Yes, I do. I got a free core on this province. Hmm. And I'm a kingdom. That's really good. I like those bonuses. That... But, but I'm not Mazovia. I'm Poland. Doesn't count. Nope. How kind of Bohemia to convert my provinces for me. Oh, that's great. I was afraid I wouldn't convert all my provinces before uh, the ten-year period expired. But, it seems, that is not the case. And if I don't convert them all before the 10-year period expires, I will get the religious instability thing, which is super bad. But if I complete humanist ideas, I will be immune from the negative effects of the Reformation. So, that's what I'm trying to do. I cheated again. This time, my cheating is... Wholly unjustified. There's a coalition against me, and I don't have a save game from far enough back um, to avoid making the coalition. So, no matter what I did, the coalition would fire, and I would lose the war. And after the war, I was, I think, three or four provinces. Um... Uh, could I recover from that? Maybe? Possibly? I don't want to, though. So, I cheated, and I ended the coalition. I, yeah, yeah, I 
probably shouldn't have done that, but oh well, whatever. It's I have not been able to expand due to coalitions, but also due to alliances. All of my neighbors have alliances that are, are stopping me. However, for some reason, Lithuania's buddies will not... Volwing? Oh, that is... Will not join him. So I... Carpe Diem sees the opportunity to take these two provinces because they are in my trade node. Should be able to beat them. I have more cannons, and I have an ally. But perhaps they shall beat me with their cheaty hacks. I, I I can't really be angry at anyone for cheating when I cheat so much. Apparently they had very few troops before I declared war and now are hiring a bunch of mercenaries. Okay. I guess I should build a fort in my capital, if nowhere else. Can I give some land to my buddy? I could, but I don't want to. This is an excellent peace deal. Not so much a rest of expansion, two provinces for me, two provinces for my buddy, because he was actually quite helpful. And... some money, yeah, looks good. Thanks for the stuff. Cool. Now, the rest of my trade node is in Bohemia, and a little bit in Hungary, a little bit in my buddy's place, my buddy's land. But I won't worry about that. Why is that 256? Which one is that? This one. Why? Oh, I lost my... Um, Bonus for conversion rates. Well, uh, I have to have admin tech eight. Behind the tech. Oh well, it's fine. Um, yes, I will wait for my war exhaustion to be reduced before I make my cores. Oh yes, I forgot names. I haven't um conquered any non-Polish land recently, so I haven't been able to change names. Brasto and Palenque become Berzesk and Polasi. Cool. I'm sure I pronounced those correctly. I suppose more waiting. Um, how much will it cost? What's the base cost? 174? No, base cost is 10? Oh, 160. Uh, so I need... Uh, we'll say 300 points for coring, meaning I cannot afford that. I almost cheated my way out of this war, but I realized this is not a coalition war. This is just a regular war. Uh, conquest of Western Poland. So, all right. I agree to your regular war. Oh, I had my maintenance low, so never mind. Allies will help me? Or not. Or not. Hey, hey guys. I'm in a battle. Did, no. I guess they were too busy. Okay. Oh, how the AI cheats. It displayed the cross swords icon, meaning there would be a battle, but there was no battle. Come on, stupid AI. Come on. Come over here. Come help your friend. No? Oh, okay. For some reason, I really felt like playing some silly music while I attacked Lithuania again, because... I have no other targets. I can't... I can't do anything. Everybody else is too well fortified, so I'll just... <laughs> song. I don't know why this song makes me laugh so much. Oh, I probably should have paid attention. Oops. Well, I'm gonna lose that battle.
Alright, I guess I'll call in my buddy, friend, pal, chum, let me go. <laughs> oh, anyway, that's, okay, that's, that's enough of that. Um, I have cannons, and they don't... Oh, game, you, you, you show me the, the symbol that means like, there's going to be a battle, but then there's not a battle. Whatever. I wonder if Denmark will actually help. Perhaps. Oh, wait, no. Denmark didn't join them. Oh, no, Denmark did join them. Ah, whatever. No, yes. No, no, yes. No, no, yes. Uh, there is a river crossing between that province and some other province. There's always a river crossing between every province and every other province. Come on. Who, who arrives first? 27... Ah, me! I have cannons. And you have... N not cannons. You don't have cannons. Sure, Sweden. As I definitely need help in this war. Apparently these guys are a little bit more powerful than I thought. I have lots of extra military points, though I am saving for, um... Finest of heroes. Or, no, horses! I always thought this would be heroes! Ah, uh, my world is shattered now. It wouldn't make sense. Why hero? I guess heroes ride horses? Ah, whatever. Horses can be heroes. What's a hero? I don't know. Now, I will help my AI friend. I, I should probably not keep these guys together. It's some attrition. Aha! Uh -huh. Aha! Uh -huh. Yes, I come. Fear not. Oh. I come a bit late, but at least I am trying. Hope I didn't reinforce the losing battle. I did, but it looks like I reinforced enough to win. Don't take those provinces back. You need them. It's been so long since my last war that my aggressive expansion is quite low. 26 for them... Zero for them. Zero, yeah. So... I think I can take quite a lot of land. Quite a lot of land. English words, me. Me speak good. Would you believe that English is my first language? I have the perfect solution. Incorporate women, children, uh, elderly people, basically anybody with working arms and legs into the army. Your manpower will skyrocket. The clergy or the burghers? That's pretty good. I like that. In Callus Z, minus 25 autonomy. Oh, there's only 1.3% left to lose, but still, that's nice. Yeah, I'll take it. And these guys will be mad at me for a little while, but that'll go up because they have enough land. So, whatever. I don't care. Don't walk through that place. It's not... It's not your land. You can't walk through there. Unless you can, but don't. Just kill them as they come. It's like whack-a-mole. Her general idea. Are there cannons in this? Oh. Shouldn't, shouldn't be cannons in this army. Those should be helping with the siege. Uh, that's probably a bad idea. Oh no, they just have mercenary infantry. I guess they don't have enough money to hire um, any other mercenaries. I will not give land to my ally this time. Well, I think that's a victory, don't you know? Hmm. That accent started Irish. But it didn't end Irish. Oh, well. It didn't end Irish. What? No, that should be an adverb. 
Can nationalities be adverbs? It did not end Irishly. Sure. Anyway, these two are mine. Great. Take more. Lithuania, two ton a quarter. Okay. A little bit. I don't know. Do I want to border with Moscow? They're kind of big. I don't want to take any stuff that they want. I want to ally with them. Oh, I could! Oh boy! So I don't take any land that they view as vital interest, so the land they border. Oh, Moscow, always wanting everything. Once I ally with them, I can fight Sweden. Or rather, they can fight Sweden while I fight um, the, the people, the Teutonic Order. Hmm, of course money. Uh, yeah, give up your claims. What else can I make you do? Oh, humiliate. That's a good one. Yeah, okay. Do want more land than that, though. Land... More land than that, though. Hmm. T-H. Could get... Turovas. It's a bit expensive. I could take one more. Uh, not the war. Oh, no, nope. I'm not taking war reparations. War for war from our mouth. War reparations. There. Danke sehr. I don't know how to say thank you in Polish. I suppose I could look it up, but again, that might require effort. Okay, so now Moscow should be super happy with me, right? Yes. No. No. Why? Trust. Hmm. They don't want any of my provinces. Neutral attitude. Trust. Not oh, sorry. Okay. Well, whatever. Clergy, you can have uh, that province. Shut up. Wait for my war exhaustion to go down. In the meantime, I'll take... Well, no, I won't take that, because I need lots of points for Corin. I just have lots of diplomatic power. Can I do some developments? Uh, no, I'll wait a few years. Then I'll do some developments. Oh, yeah, what are the names? Troki, Rus, Zarna, Polesi, and Turo. Okay. Are these a part of my trade node? Nope. Oh, they're part of this trade node, which then connects to this trade node via transmission of trade. What's it called? Transferring trade. Power. Anyway, I now plan on allying Moscow before I do anything else. And yes, I'm calling it Moscow. I know it's Muscovy, but... That's the English name for that city. Where is Moscow? There it is. So that's what I will call it, despite its name in the game being something else.